Good morning, friends. I pray that wherever in the world you are right now, that the next two minutes are a blessing to you, so you can be the blessing to the people the Lord has put around you today. So you want to hear something funny? I um, <laughs> I was talking to my mom, and she uh, she's doing a reading through the Bible this year uh, program, and she got to Psalm 119, and she was mentioning to me, she's like, how silly is this? I've always kind of avoided Psalm 119 because it's so long. <laughs> I said, oh my gosh, I must be your daughter because I have always avoided Psalm 119 for that very same purpose. Um, so anyway, I sat down and I read uh, the beginning of Psalm 119 and I thought, you know, I know this is nuts, but Dale Carnegie, uh, one of his precepts or one of his uh, things that he talks about in his book is how um, the most personal things are the most general, right? So you're, the most intimate experiences of your life are also shared by the most people because we're all human. And um, so anyway, so this one is dedicated to anybody who has avoided Psalm 119, this one and the next bunch, because uh, for the next couple of weeks, I'm just gonna read Psalm 119. So here's the first kind of stanza of Psalm 119. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek them with his whole heart, who do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently, Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Then I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all of your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous rules. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. And just to fast forward to the end, the upshot of this uh, psalm is that we are to love, we are to spend time in God's word. We are to spend time thinking about his laws and his commands and his statutes because he provides them to us to make us flourish in life. And our heart is so, I mean, my heart is so, uh, so selfish that, you know, I think to myself, this isn't, you know, when I read these, these things that he asks us to do, this isn't a way to flourish. This is uh, curtailing fun is kind of, often the way I see things. And it's not true. We don't see things in this world. We don't see things the way that we should, which is why we need God's law. Anyway, that's it. So stay tuned for the rest of 119. And if you stick with me for the next few weeks, you too will have read Psalm 119. And I pray that this was a blessing to you as you go out or stay in today and be the blessing. Till next time, Katie.